Good morning. Um, another camper van day, and it's a beautiful day outside, so I'm hoping I can get a few things done today. Um, obviously, I'm indoors at the moment. That, uh, that pile of stuff's going down there, which is good. Hair fever's playing hell. I need a shave. My hair's a mess, and I don't care today because I'm just going to be working on the van. But what you will notice is. Yeah, I've got the ladders out again, and I'm fitting the TV aerial. Let's see if that's free. I'm just fitting the TV aerial. So I've been up and drilled the hole. Um, I need to uh, see if I can get any climbing hammer right out of there. It's a bit buggered that, but I'm hoping it'll be a soft bit in the bottom. I'll just poke something in it. I just want a tiny bit of hammer out just to go around the, uh, the hole that I've drilled. Just leave that for half an hour or so, get it silicone. I've got a grommet in there and uh, get the TV area on it. I'll, I'll, I'll explain it when I get up on the roof anyway. But. Uh, no big deal this, it's just a case of drilling a hole where you want it um, and making sure it doesn't leak. And I'll give you an update on the van um, as well. Possibly when I come back down because it might be a bit too windy, you might not be able to hear me, but we'll, we'll give it a go anyway. Catch you in a minute. Right, so we're up on top of the van. Can't see very good, it's very sunny. So I'm putting the TV aerial just down there. Drill the hole and the um, just putting the cable through now. I've hammer it. It's gone off pretty quick that hammer right. Well enough to get the silicone on anyway. So I don't notice there's a lot of these um, little rust spots from when I've been drilling up here. Um, all the swash. So I'm going to give the van roof a right good wash. Probably not today because of this silicone. Um, and I found a polish that brings it off. So yeah, we're doing that this week. It stays nice. So let's just get this fitted. Here's the uh, aerial. It's a digital tech aerial. Um, it's about twenty odd quid on Amazon, um, but it's supposed to be quite good. It's omnidirectional, so. Um, should be able to pick up a signal wherever we go. Just cleaning the silicone off here. I will squirt some up from inside. But that's not going anywhere. Even if it comes unstuck, it can just hang there. Um, that, that's, that's that done. I'll go and stick some silicone up from inside around the cable. That's the TV aerial sorted. Oh. Another yeah, all in the van. Okay, back inside the van. Flipping warm in here, I'll just open that. So that's where the uh, television aerial cable comes down. See, I've seen all the wire they give me. Look at that. The TV's only going here. Anyway. So I'll just tuck that in there. It'll go um, along this back here. And then down through there to the TV. And I'll show you something else. Syringe. No, nope, I'm not on drugs. But I'm going to use it to get silicone inside there. That's the beauty of uh, your partner being a nurse. There's always a few of these lying around. No, don't come knocking on the door, I'm not selling them. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to squirt some silicone into that and then squirt it up through that. Uh, up there. Not that side.
Right. There you go. So I'll just use that. I'll just put that up through. It's just a cable entry gland that I've used. I bought them in, uh, in screw fix. I think you get five for two quid or something. I probably won't need the others. Um, but yeah, all the wiring's in now and everything. Um, so that uh, little helper did all the um, bell trimming around the door. We've got the door to do yet, but we'll have to do that together at weekend. Can't do that on my own, it's a big job. And then uh, get the ceiling tidied up with some aluminium tape. It's started to come off. Uh, this is the stuff that I was telling you about the 100 mil. It's, it's difficult to work with. If you're going to buy the um, aluminium tape, get the 75 or 50. This 100 mil stuff's a pain in the ass. But um, yeah, I'll tidy all that up and I'll get the bubble wrap. I'll start at the front and work my way to the back. And also get these wires tidied up as well. Yes. Boy racers. No wonder we have so many accidents, is it? Um, so yeah, I've just, um, just got myself a bottle of water and absolute boiling. Uh, so where am I up to? I actually, yesterday afternoon, I didn't film this because it was so difficult on my own. I couldn't actually do it. Um, seriously, couldn't do it on my own. And film at the same time. It was just... Um, and Barbara didn't come home well later on, but I bubble wrapped the... Um, well, I bubble wrapped down to the midi hacky uh, skylight, and it was a nightmare because it's just you've got to cut it, you've got to try and hold it above your head, glue it, and stick it at the same time. Um, but anyway, I managed to get three pieces on, uh, and the wood got delivered as well yesterday afternoon. So I've just put a plank up there just to see what it might look like. Um, it's nice this tongue and groove. Um, it's called Geom from uh, Being Q. It's nice. It's got little um, little lines down it. And it's dead light. So I think I've got that in the centre of the van. You know, you start questioning yourself, but you've nothing to measure to um, either side. So I don't know whether people start from in the middle or start at the edge or, or what. I don't know how this works. I kind of think that looks straight. But when you obviously when you get to the to the edges it might start going out, but to be fair there's not gonna be that much on show, is there? It's mainly gonna be around uh, around this area that's gonna be on show. So I, I don't know, I think it's straight. Um because I've measured from the centre of the max fan to the centre of the um midi. And I gather that the max fan must be in the centre because I measured it from that um, little dome that's on the top of the van. You'll have seen that in my earlier, one of my earlier videos when I actually videoed installing the Max fan. Um, I measured from the centre of that dome, which is the centre of the van. So the centre of this Max fan has got to be in the centre of the van. I just wanted to see what it'll look like when the light's going. Because uh, we're painting the um, the clad in white, so I think these black lights will, will look quite nice um, against the white background. Yeah, so I only put three up. Got to work out how to fasten them at that end because there's no um, cross member to fasten to, so I'm going to have to put a batten in and fasten it to that headliner unit there. Then I can get these to uh, fasten. But yeah, look nice them lights, well chuffed. Like these. Starting to come together a little bit now. I think once I've got all the wooden panels in, it'll look quite nice. I feel like I'm getting somewhere then. Like I say, I just wanted to get these on the roof, just just to see what they look like really. They're quite easy to put up. Just make sure you don't uh, <laughs> screw into the roof of the van. I've no doubt somebody will have done that at some point. I'm absolutely anal about stuff like that. But um, I'm only using 20mm um, screws. 
and this this ceiling cladding is seven and a half mil. So yeah, that's ample. So we're going to undercoat this. I don't know whether well, we had thought about just staining it, but I don't know. I think we're going to undercoat it with white undercoat, and then we're going to do it with satin satin wood. I think satin wood looks nice. Well, look at this. We've got lights. I just connected them up to my little 12 volt power supply. That's the best thing I've ever bought for this van, for this van build. That little white box there, I'll do a, a separate video on that because it's, um, it's an incredible piece of kit. Um, yeah, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. Where's the fifth one? Five. And I've just tested those wires and they're uh, 11.7 volts, which is exactly the same as what's coming out of that at the moment. So, yeah, happy with the way they're gone. I had to wire them up because I need to put some more planks in now, so, and I'm going to cover these wires up. So. Last couple of days have been really bad weather-wise, so I've not been able to cut much wood or anything. Um, you can see behind me I've done a bit more of the ceiling, I will show you what I've done up to now. But it's a bloody nightmare. Uh, you get everything out to cut, I've got my workbench out and everything, I'm just turning you around so you can see me. That's better. So, yeah, um, I was in and out and in and out the house with my uh, workbench about four or five times yesterday and the day before. It's a nightmare. Every time I get stuff out to cut wood, I can't do it. Um, so I've decided that I'll just cut it in here. It's a bit untidy and everything. It makes it. Uh, I'm going to tidy up after it's just one of them tidy up days, I think, today. I'll just take you off there. Oh, no, I won't. I'll keep you on the stem. Right, so, I've done uh, quite a lot of the uh, roof cladding, just that one light to wire in there, um, I didn't do it uh, just in case Barbara wanted me to move that light to somewhere else, because she's quite anal about having things symmetrical and what have you, but <coughs> to be fair I've kind of put it in the middle of the step, um, in the middle of that step. So, <clears throat> my way of thinking is, we're not going to have that door open fully all the time, so <clears throat> that kind of would be in the middle when the door is open. So that's my way of thinking. I've uh, put the Max Fan surround back on, that'll have to come off anyway, because it's all going to get painted. Um, I've countersunk all the screws into the ceiling. I'm going to fill them with wood filler. I just want to make sure it's all right before I start doing anything. The only problem is I've got is here right at the edge and it's frightening me to death because the wooden battens that I put across the ceiling there's actually one oh, there's actually one here you can see we're over on the screws all the way along I think the wooden button only comes to about here so I've got nothing to screw into there but the member is still there yeah so I'm frightened to death of going through the roof. I've managed to get one in down there and I had to actually got the ladders out to have looked. That one there, this one, that's gone into the metal structure. This one hasn't. I can't, I don't, I just can't locate it. I know I've got cables there but it's a pain. Frightened to death of screwing into this. I mean, I think there's about that much depth between the boards and the and the top of the van, but even so, it's just a bit scary when you start screwing in blind into, into things. Uh, I know where the, the cross members are, which is not a problem. But, um, yeah, so, anyway, I'll, I'll sort that out, I'll have a think about it. So there you go, I've managed to put, I think last time I spoke to you, I'd put these lights in, but... Um, I've worked a way to get round this, this midi hacky. So because 
this is only seven and a half mil thick, this, this ply. Uh, this uh, tongue and groove and it, it just works out well it covers this and it's actually holding the midi in place now what I'm going to do is once that's in I'm going to cork all around there and up in there so I should just finish it off nicely and this is going nowhere now so, yeah I'm quite impressed with that because the wood just fits over it yeah, had a lot of uh, cable tidying up today. I pulled a couple of cables back because uh, me being me jumped straight in feet first when uh, I initially started wearing the van, and I realised they hadn't put um, because I was putting a control panel near the door. I don't need to have power running from the back. Right from the um, where the fuses are going to be down here. I don't need to have a cable running from there to there for the lights or the lights that I'm going to put in the floor because the control panel will have power and it's all switched. So I'll just run them from that. So I don't know where I'm going to put the switches yet. I haven't decided. But yeah, the main thing is just to get try and get this ceiling finished. If I can get this finished. I can start ply lining, uh, ply lining the walls, which I want to get done really. So yeah, the uh, police helicopter had been flying around for about an hour and um, Barbara came home and had been flying around for about five minutes or so uh, and then we heard like, a couple of gunshots. Um, now, I don't know if they were gunshots but it sounded like it. But it's disappeared now, but um, there was a mountain rescue thing and there's all sorts of stuff going on. So, yeah, I don't know what was going on there. Um, no doubt we'll be on Facebook after. It's only a small village that we live in, so um, everybody knows everybody's business. Well, we think of it.